Hello everyone, Lindsay here. Um, I decided that this Saturday seminar deserved a video and the reason for that is because I wanted to show you um, our topics. So our topic for this week is inks, distress stains, and favorite ink pads. So there's a lot. <laughs> so. I'm going to take some pictures, of course, but I thought I would do sort of a demonstration for you on the Coco Daisy paper, because, I mean, ultimately that's what we're using this stuff on anyways, right? So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is use some Distress Stain. So, I've got this really pretty blue, and I think it's... Oh, Tumbled Glass. I can never find the names of these things. So, anyways, this is Tim Holtz Distress Stain, and it comes in a cool, like, sort of bingo dauber-ish type thing. And I always try, and you can dab off a little bit off to the side. Um, that kind of loads your, your um, dabber. You can also do this if you are going to use a paintbrush to apply it but ultimately you can just apply it right from the dauber which is really kind of cool so the uh let me just grab a baby wipe here and of course my husband has to show up so i will keep going but he might come in and interrupt so anyways um, you can just daub the ink right on the page, which is kind of cool if you're in a hurry and you want to, um, and you want to add some color to your page, so that's really cool. So, I only have three colors, and, um, but these three colors came in a pack, so they're pretty cool. And then, you can... You can definitely use right from dry, and it all it'll blend right in. To look at, look at that, it even matches. This is uh, bundled sage, in case anybody wanted to know. So it does really good. There's hardly, other than where it like pooled a little bit, there's hardly any bleed through, which is cool. And, okay, so that is my favorite Distress Stains. You can also get the stains in a spray. I have lots more of that, so I'm going to choose this Cracked Pistachio. And the sprays are kind of fun because you can create just a different looking texture. And you can also do the same thing and spray off onto something else and then use a paintbrush to apply it. Um, I would recommend putting down sheets like I have here uh, just to protect the rest of your surface. Especially when you're spraying just because sprays get everywhere. And what else do we have? So, and then ink pads. So, ink pads, I love to use the Tim Holtz pads, but I also, for regular stamping in my, in my dory, I like to use the VersaFine in the Onyx Black. And what I did with the little sheet that comes with it, because you still want to keep it to protect the ink pad, but I put some dimensional dots or like foam glue and behind the tabs and then just attached it to the lid so that um, so you don't have to fiddle with it. And that idea I got from Simone. She did that on her stays on. And so I thought I would try it on here as well. So when you're stamping, you can use any color of ink really. But I really like the Onyx Black. I think it does a really good job. So 
I just like to stamp off my image on my hand to get rid of the sticky and that makes it so that it takes the ink well and then you can just stamp and make sure that you have a flat surface behind I obviously don't because I missed a little bit there and then I just use a baby wipe to wipe it off and then occasionally I will use a stamp cleaner with um, just a little scrubby so that because the stamp cleaner will moisturize your stamps a little bit more than a baby wipe will so and I'm actually going to stamp that twice because I kind of like that Move this down a little bit. There, that looks really nice. So, and if you're not too sure about if your image is going to stamp, you can also just stamp it onto a scrap piece of paper first before you stamp it on here, and then you can make sure that you have good ink coverage, etc. Yeah, so I'm going to stamp this one too, I think. Oh, there, I missed a, missed a spot because I don't have anything solid underneath there. So you can just take it extra... Sometimes I just even use a dashboard behind, just to give it a little bit of strength there. Try and match it up here. There we go. So that's a little bit better. Alright, so... Hopefully you like that. It's just a cute little, or a quick little tutorial on what I like to use in my dories. You could put this on any page. You could use the stains to uh, decorate the days, like this one. If you wanted to say... I'm not going to use the red because <laughs> the red wouldn't go. Alright, so if you wanted to decorate your weekend, you can throw that on. just add some spatial or some color to your spaces. Um, the best way to control the stain without using the dauber is with a paintbrush and like I said just dab it over on the side on either an artist palette or on a water resistant craft mat like I have here and yeah then you can paint it on and and not use too much. You can also dilute it with water if you wish, um, but again, the more water you use, the more likely that you are to go through to the other side. So anyways, I hope you like this tutorial, and I hope you try out some different colors and mediums in your planner, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thanks. Bye.